No, it, it's no secret that NASA always wanted to fulfill this Kennedy prophecy that we would get to the moon by the end of the decade. Well, time was running out. It was 1969. And, uh, but, but you met uh, Nixon in 68-ish, and he said, we have a problem, Stanley. We can't get those boys up there. Tell me that story. Right. Okay, try again. So you met with Nixon? There was, yes, there was a, uh, if you might remember, there was a, 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 a launch pad accident in 67, no, no, no. I, which you killed... Tom, you're going to tell me a story. So Nixon sat me down in the office, and he says to me, you know, that boy just, I don't think, this is how I want you, when we're, then we're going to oh, you're Neil, me that Nixon... we're going to Neil, yeah, when, and when we go to Neil, you're telling me through Neil, this is our new template, is that, it's going to be confused. helpful to you, it's going to be helpful to you. So you're telling me the story through, and it's going to come to you like that. So Nixon sat me down, and he said, it's impossible, Stanley, to get to the moon. It's impossible. And now this boy, Gus, just died. You don't want me to mention this the, the yeah. accident. Yeah. Okay. And, he said, and he said, Stanley, that boy, Gus, he, just, he died a fi you know, fiery death. You know? yes. I don't, I, do you know what that would do to my, my approval ratings mm -hmm. if those boys died in space? Yes. I mean, think about it, Stanley. Right. And, you know, I, I, and, and I thought about it, and he was right. And he said, and hey, those Ruskies, if we don't keep up with them, they're going to take over the world. And I'm no communist. And I know you're no communist, Stanley. I mean, you see, it's just child's play. Right. Just do it. Okay? But tell, bring us there. Yeah, all right. And then, right, right. you know, and I'd say, I couldn't say no. And so I said, yeah. And he said, you can make any damn film you want. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's about, uh, you know, L's fucking girls in Peru. Like, you know, it's like, you know, you can do whatever you want. L's fucking girls fucking in Peru. Girls in Peru. Okay. I don't care. If that, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get it out there. Hundreds of millions of dollars. Okay. Just see and just tell a story. Elves. It's just saying, you know, do your shtick. Do a shtick. Get in the fact that you're writing this time and not everything's got to be drab. It can be funny in a, in a very subtle way. So you meet with Nixon and what happened? Yeah, I met with Nixon. And I'm going to start you off. I, I, Pat was the first person I saw. I think she was high. Um, wait, wait, no, Betty Ford. No, it was Betty Ford. Sorry. Betty Pat, Ford was Pat, Pat too much. Oh, Pat, you're Perry. Right. So she was, she was drunk off, you know, and then, but then I went and saw Alex and he had just played golf. Like, you know, start with details. It's so easy. Pat was, uh, okay. okay. So, right, so, so, so you met Nixon. You went to the yeah, White House? I met Pat actually first. I think she was on painkillers or something. Um, but, uh, it, you know, she never, never say, said much. So, you know, it, it was nothing worth repeating. But, uh, yeah, when I met with Nixon, Boy, that was a, that was an experience. Yeah, he, they, uh, they just shuttled you in privately because obviously they couldn't have you. No one could know you were meeting with him. Yeah, he, he had his shoes off, which you know, and he could smell his feet. So it was just really kind of amazing. You know, it, it was not anything I could have predicted. So it was a casual encounter. Okay, he was in the Oval Office. Yeah, in the Oval Office, yes. And um, but it's funny, it's an Oval Office because the walls seem to be closing in anyway. But. <laughs> Anyway, uh, there we were, and he, he, he was, you know, like he was, uh, expressing how desperate he was to, to go to the moon. What did he say? Not literally go to I mean, the moon. I mean, what did he say? But, but to, to, to have people think we were going to the moon, what? he was worried about, uh, well, his own perception, because he just became president, and his... Uh, his so uh, what, what did he uh, say? He, 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 he said that... Um, after all, there had been a, a, an accident. A, a, you know, you're telling the third person. You don't have to imitate him, but you go, you're doing good. I'm not you're doing, I know. No, listen. I know that you're doing good. You say, you have to, this is how you tell the story. Okay. And he said, that, and so I walked in and he said, sorry, you're going to off the shoes. I was just playing golf. Okay, you know, you have to do the voice. I'm doing the voice. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do the voice if you don't want. He said, yeah. you know, I was just playing golf. And he sat me down and he says to me, and that's the, that's the story template, is that you're, it's always right. what he said. Okay. And then I said to him, you know what? It's going to be really hard to fool that, you know. But then he said, and that's the thing. That's how we're going to do it the whole night. Neil said, and then I said to Neil, well, you know, don't worry. Neil's there too? No, this is okay, later. This is layers, layers, I'll layers. give you a template. It's always, that's right, the storytelling right. method, okay. okay? So we're not saying third person. He said, so Nixon says to me, and I remember, he, had, he just stared in his scotch as he said this. He said, fact, 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 whatever it is. That's, going, that's the perfect way to deliver this. Got it? Mm -hmm. It's okay. So you in the Oval Office, and what happened? You're doing good. Yeah, good. okay, so Nixon uh, sat me down. First, he complimented me on 2001, which was nice to hear. Uh, and he said, speaking of space, going to the moon, he, and he told me about the, the plan. Yeah. He yeah. didn't, yeah. yeah. So he, he says to me, that you don't say he said anything. You say what he says, okay? 
That's all, Tom, I'm just giving you an right, introduction. Wait, you want me Everything to, about the, you know, I walked in and he said this. You want me to say it as him or I, do you want You don't have to, to imitate him, but you have to say, he says, Stanley, we've worked so on this moon saying, program. You're not he, saying what he said. You're not reporting it. You're I'm repeating it. I'm saying it as Nixon. You're repeating it in a storytelling way. All right. So I go to this whore and she goes, okay. Nixon, right, I don't do right, it. All right, all That's right. the mood. All right. Okay. It's not like, so this horse said, no, you, know, you, you're like, you don't have to be imitate him if you don't feel comfortable. You just say, Stanley. Da, da, whatever he says. That's how we get the information. We're doing exposition here. That's the way we're going to sneak it in. Okay. So we're there. You're at this Oval Office, and uh, what happened? Yeah, he sat me down, uh, complimented me in 2001, and then he said... Uh, you're, doing it right, you're doing it kind of academically. Enjoy the, the, the story. You're, you're spinning a yarn here. All right. So you go in there, they offer you a drink, and you know, tell me you set the stage. Yeah, uh, and he was already drinking, so I, I decided to join him. I don't remember what I had because I drink almost anything. Um, he ha he was drinking Doers, I think, which, I mean, if you're going to drink scotch, okay, but Doers, I don't know. Anyway, uh, he complimented me on 2001, and then he said, speaking of space, uh, you know about uh, President Kennedy's prediction of going to the moon by the end of the decade. Well, it was almost like a mandate. Like, he sort yes. of like, you know, threw the gauntlet down. And he said, well, time is running out, and we want to do that, but we can't. It's impossible. We tried. Uh, uh, we've been testing this for years. As you may have heard, uh, uh, there was a, a launch pad accident in, in 1967 in which uh, the famous Gus Grissom was killed and two other astronauts. Uh, Gus was a good guy, but anyway, uh, and it can't be done. We, we, we talked to every scientist imaginable. It just cannot be done. But after seeing your film, I am convinced, and the gentlemen at NASA are also convinced, that you can help us make people believe that we have been to the moon and back. And you must have been startled at that moment. Okay. Actually, a little bit, but I also knew where this was going, and I thought, what a trip. What a trip this is for me, as an artist. Okay, you were still young and wide-eyed. I couldn't help it. Okay. It's part of being, it's like the, uh, it, it's the DNA or something of an artist. Like your adrenaline got going. Yes. The juice is flowing. Okay. Yeah. Go on. And I was excited. All right, he didn't on. even have to finish, but he did. Uh, and explained to me that he wanted me to uh, film fake a fake landing with fake astronauts. Well, not re real astronauts, but fake uh, faking the exploration of space. Be because they just knew they couldn't get there. Because there was just no way we could get there. And the political, I mean, they'd spent all that money, I guess. And yes. There was a political brinksmanship going yeah, of on. Course, of course, Nixon wanted to uh, make a big splash. It was early in his presidency. Yeah, and, that would have uh, made him look really he, like a failure. He, yeah, he wanted to, uh, okay. yeah, he wanted his uh, approval points up. And he thought nothing could do it better than this. To fulfill this dream that America has had as a country since uh, the Kennedy years. Okay, so you're saying the motivation was PR. PR, absolutely. Plain and simple, okay. PR. All right. And the geopolitical chess match between Russia that was going on, it would have weakened yes. their position, so to speak. Yes. Um, and, uh, and I guess that money... Was background. That was great background for the story, yes. There's also, it must have been about money. Because there was about still a, money, a, a, a red fear, a, you know, a, a communist fear among the people. Right. Sure, that was right. You're coming to the food, yeah. yeah. Sure. I mean, missile crisis and all that. Okay. But it's also really about, like anything else, about money. I mean, they, they'd spent, well, the equivalent of a billion, almost a trillion of our dollars now on this program. Yes. In addition so, to being I mean, impossible and, 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 and unsafe, it was also uh, terribly expensive. But no, what, no, what I'm saying is that it, it was so expensive that to fail would not, quote unquote, not be an option. In other words, at a certain point, you spend so much taxpayer money. If, I, I, I mean, my question I'm asking is: Is Nixon motivated? Whoever these men that decided this, this to perpetrate this fraud, was it the money? In other words, if you you can't go to the can't, or maybe you can, I don't know. 
Can you go to the American people after spending a trillion dollars and say, we've got nothing to show for it? No. So Obviously. It, but I'm saying is how much of that was the motivation? Of course, that was that was a huge part of it. A huge part of it. It's the part, really. I was, again, it so many, it so many people, and, and the funding would have dried up. You have to go with that because that's going to be the whole Neil thing. That's why Neil goes along with it. Because so Neil doesn't want the program to die. Right. Okay? okay. So it's the money. It's the, yes. right, it's the PR politics. It's Russia. And it's the money. Yes. Okay? So it's balls and, and peanuts. So it's so already. So what did Dixon say at the very end? He looked me in the eye. Looked me in the eye. Give me the clothes. Okay. So. And give me some color. Like, nice. like some things okay. happening. So, you know, he sat down and he sighed. You know, looked into the fireplace. Give me some details. All right. All right. So. All right. So he said all that. And then what? So, I think this was hard for him to get out. This this next part, uh, but he said the the NASA's funds are just drying up. Uh, oh shit! No, I'm it's sorry. Sorry. they can't fund something that doesn't work. Yes, we have. If we don't fake it, if we tell them the truth, the yes. money goes away, I'll and we're this. Away. We yes. think we're this close. Yes. So we have to lie. It's it's a good lie. It's a lie for a good reason. We're this close. Yes. I know, but they never got closer. So it was even in earnest, maybe, perhaps. Got it? Mm -hmm. But and it makes sense. It's like we, I, we, if we, we can't keep the kid on chemotherapy for if it's not working. So we're going to say it's working because we want to keep the kid on chemo. Like we're going to lie to right. save his life. Got it? Yes. This is a motive. Got it? And this is a, it's a it's a that's a motive that's actually you sympathize you can sympathize with that. Got that? Like oh wow, all those jobs that you know you want right. to do. That's the hook. Got it? Okay, so. So Nixon says to you, so he goes in for the big clothes and he says, you got to do it. And he what, guilts you about we merit patriotism? have to save NASA. Okay. It was in deep trouble. And uh, this, Wh this was Why was it in deep trouble? Just spent so damn much money. Uh, billions and billions of dollars. Uh, this would save them. This great PR would no, save no, them. It's the reverse. They're, it would destroy them if it, the truth came out. They weren't a damaged agency. They were the hottest agency in the world, Tom. If Isn't the truth the came out, no, told me? no. I said, if the truth comes out, NASA is destroyed overnight. The program's destroyed overnight. All right. They weren't a hurting agency. They were the hottest thing in the news. They were the darlings of everyone. But then they realized they couldn't go. Tell the truth and become the the, the, the stepchild, no, the redheaded right, stepchild, and right, lose the right. money, or then lie, and then we'll get there in '73. You know, so keep it going. That was the kicking can down the road right. okay. rationalization okay. they made. Right. It's simple though. Okay, ready? So you Nixon. If you keep making it up, I'm not making it up. It's the plausible right. reason. All right. Tim. It's not even. Up. I'm not making it up. Why would you lie about this, Tom? Why? to keep the funding to keep the program going so you can get there but it never happened because it just was insurmountable all right all right all right okay. that's it okay okay so i'm not making anything up okay pr with the russians you know we, we don't kill those boys it's unsafe and the uh, money we that's couldn't it. so he says Dixon says what give me some details just, give me some details he sat down just tell people the truth let's start it to them the, the big finish so nixon sat down give me some color you know, tell a story. Back to the beginning? No! All right. Start, give color. So Nixon at this point, I think, like you said, it was hard for him to say this next part. He sat yeah. down, he looked it at his scotch, fun. looked yeah. into the fireplace for a minute, took a breath, drank the scotch, and then he said, Stanley, and you gotta give me more Stanley. Yeah, it was, it was. You gotta uh, give me more Stanley. No, no, okay. take a pause and begin the scene. Okay? All right. So yes, and now, da, 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 da. drink your drink while you, da, 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 da. drink your drink while you tell the story. All right, okay, all right. be... Come on, you're reminiscing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So with Nixon, and what happens? So Nixon says. It was hard for him to uh, to say this next part. He was uh, looking into his drink, kind of like I am now, and uh, finally he said that uh, we can't tell people the truth. That we can't get to the moon. It would be disastrous for NASA. Uh, they're their funding would, would dry up. People wouldn't have faith in them anymore. They just, it would be like a... a, well, wait, wait, a complete, faith, it would be over, failure. right? It would be over. Yes, it would be absolutely over. So if we fake this, this moon landing, it would do nothing but increase the reputation. And 
we could go we could go again and again if we had to uh, well I mean they, just to go the first time I mean we, I so they wanted to keep the funding going why because Obviously, what? What do you mean? I don't well, know why they they wanted to lie about the moon landing to keep the funding going? Why? Just to keep to keep NASA viable. Why? Why though? Why? Why not? Because people because, believe in NASA. No, because they thought that the moon landing was just a few more years that if they would get there, they just kept the funding going. They could get there. They could figure the problems out, but they never did. That's the point. It's not arbitrary. We want to keep NASA alive because it's the dream, and we knew we, they. they oh, they so you're saying, they're saying NASA believed they still could. They at the time, and then you know, finally it hit them. And probably by '75, we're fucking never getting there. All right, okay. It, it, that's the that's the that's the sympathetic reason why all they right, did this. Right. And you're like, wow, that makes yeah. sense, but it's still wrong. Get it? Okay, yeah. So that's a big thing. I said this to you. Let's try again, right? So Nixon says, "What? Grab your drink. Grab your drink. And action." What they what they believed was if we could Nixon just... sat down. Color, tell me a story, Tom. Come on, color it. Okay. Where, am I going back from the to... ending? The ending. Nixon sat down, looked at his drink, looked in the fire, and All said, right. "Stanley, wrap it up, wrap it up." All right. So Nixon, the ne this was this part was ne this next part was hard for him to say. Me. He, he he you know looked at his drink kind of like this and said. Um, We're, we have to fake this. We have to fake this this moon landing, just to keep interest in NASA. And in the time and, and in the next few years, we might actually be able to go for real. Come on, we, we wouldn't give up. No. Still work on it. We would still be working on it, trying to 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 make this trip possible. But we have to do it now. No, we were because they were so close, you know. Because we were so damn. Because we were so damn close. We had to do it now. And if you didn't lie, you know, it would dry up. Like we were on the brink of something. Yes, and if if we didn't, if we didn't fake this, if we didn't lie about it, eventually people would lose interest, and it, the funding would dry up for NASA. It would just cease to exist. And the dream. And the dream would be dead. It would be gone. The greatest thing in the world for this country would be to go to the moon, and that being gone. It would be just devastating for, for uh, the, the national mood. So it was about money. And it was the, about, yeah. And so, no, yeah. I'm just giving you lines. So it was about the money. It was about the morale. Yeah, it was about. It was about morale. It was about money. It was about money. It was about morale. Chiefly money. Uh, as most things are, and uh, that's what that's what was. Being